For the sign of cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So cancer, recent past energy between you and the person you're currently dealing with. Well, we got the moon card and it's with the eight of pentacles. Now the moon card, you could start to feel like you're, in, you're intuitive or maybe psychic more than usual. So with this card, it's important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So just go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, well, with the moon card showing up here, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So you have to try to stay patient when you get this card in a reading. Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles actually points to necessary efforts. You could have a lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. Dedication to the task, it's important, but if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles can indicate a very hard work period. As you can see in the picture, yeah, a very hard work period. Now just keep in mind, this does not have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. Yeah, so, what I'm picking up on Cancer, the moon clarified by the Eight of Pentacles is that um, you're dealing with someone where in the recent past with this person, um, you could have been willing to um, work on this connection. Even though you felt that um, this person might have been keeping secrets. Yeah, because the moon card can be about secrets. It can be about someone holding back. It can be about feeling like something is hidden. Deception. Yeah, you could have felt like you're dealing with someone who's wearing a mask. Yeah, so you probably didn't really trust this person or you didn't trust the connection. But something told you to just keep working at it. Maybe this person will come around. So it looks like you put in a lot of effort and energy into trying to see where this is going to go. Yeah. But you, you were unsure about this person. We just felt like there were secrets. Something was hidden. That's just... Just as how your mind was telling you, or you maybe you just knew it. Something is, something's not, not quite right, maybe. So maybe this was someone new. But anyway, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Knight of Wands, and it's with the Sun card. Now, Keep in mind, when you get the Knight of Wands, it's showing it's a good time for travel. If you can get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is likely to be increasing, and this should help reach towards any goals. The, the Knights, they're often message bearers, and the messages are usually positive, could be related to work, or career, 
in any projects that you have, they're likely to be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. Yeah, the Knight of Wands actually has a lot of reasons to feel pride. Now it's with the Sun card. Now with this card, things are likely to be going very well, even though your finances they're in good shape when you get the Sun card. But you have to keep in mind, this does not mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on that list for some of you. Yeah, I know for me it is, and a lot of you it is. Now, when you get the Sun card, you have to remember, it's a good time to socialize. Meet new people, and don't forget to get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, when you get the Sun card in the reading, well, this is actually an indicator that it's right around the corner. So coming up, Cancer, Knight of Wands, clarified by the Sun. So what I'm, what I'm getting here, the message that I'm getting for you guys, is that you're still, still dealing with this person. Yeah, this person that you feel like you can't really trust. Um, but they make you happy. I don't know. Maybe they got a great sense of humor. Maybe they always make you laugh because the sun card is here. In some kind of way, they add sunshine to your life. In something they do. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're goofy. Maybe they're funny. But this person, they do make you happy. But you can't trust them to, to save your life. Yeah, or you just feel like there's too many secrets. So you could start to feel like you need to just have one foot in and one foot out. Because you, cause you really like that this person makes you happy. Yeah, they, they add a lot of sunshine to your life during these dark days that we're going through with this virus. They help you get through the these crazy, crazy days that we're, we're experiencing. Um, but you just keep, something keeps telling you, you just need to have one foot in, and you gotta have one foot out. Yeah, because the Knight of Wands is about an in and out type, of, in and out type of energy. So yeah, that's what's coming up. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is gonna be. We got the Three of Swords, and it's with a tower. Now, this Three of Swords, there's element of sorrow that's undeniable when you get this card in a reading, but what, what lies on the other side of the sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up this way you can move past it. This Three of Swords, it can point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. If you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any sadness that comes up now, but don't wallow in it. You do not and you should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. Now it's with the tower. The tower can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster because we have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people Maybe situations that you've counted on as being there may no longer be available to you in quite the same way. Now, keep in mind, this does not have to be dire. Because we all know that change, it's the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, 
it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be, because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart. Yeah, you have to keep in mind that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. So your challenge, Three of Swords, clarified by the Tower. Yeah, so, Cancer, like I said, um, yeah, it goes, we keep going back to this person that you're, you're dealing with. If this, if this is not a love interest, it, this could be a friend or a family member. Because this is, this reading is turning out to be all about how you feel about this person. I'm not getting any of their energy. So, this challenge is telling me that you could be afraid of getting hurt by this person. Yeah. Because you're starting to... You're starting to, um, maybe have some type of emotions for them. Because a sun card can bring, can bring emotions out. You can bring your emotions out. Yeah. And that's why you realize that you just need to have one foot in and one foot out. Because you think this person is not, maybe you think they're not being honest with something. You're thinking that you could get hurt by this connection. So you might do things unintentionally to sabotage it and make it fall apart. That's why the tower is here. Yeah, you, you could be starting to have some feelings for this person. So you might want to take the challenge as a warning. Or maybe not. Yeah, but it looks like for some of you, you're starting to... Um, have feelings, you're afraid to get hurt by this connection, by this person. You feel like you don't know enough, or when they talk, you feel like they're speaking untruth. And you could, it's possible that you could do something to sabotage this. If you're the type of person that is a self, or some type of sabotager, that, that could be what the tower is. You might do something to make it fall apart. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm getting. Yeah, you're starting to feel something. Your emotions are starting to get involved because this person makes you happy. Now, let's move on over and let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the King of Pentacles, and it's with the Two of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, it actually speaks of authority, tradition, success, and money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in tarot, that indicates money, cash, coins, finance, income. So when this card appears in a reading, it could be a sign that now, is not the time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this stands for actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type. It could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. But that could go either way. Now if it's referring to a person in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe and trust absolutely. Now, it's with the Two of Pentacles, which can be about two main issues at front in your mind, so you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend, so you may need to cut down 
on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation may need to be more balanced, so be sure that you're paying attention there. So, the outcome King of Pentacles clarified by the Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, you know, what I'm getting here is that Yeah, this reading is all about you, Cancer. Yeah, so you, like I said, you're starting to feel, feel emotions. Emotions, emotions are getting involved. Yeah, you're afraid of getting hurt by this person. You're just not being open enough for... Like I said, you feel like they're, you can't trust, you don't trust them fully. You don't trust them enough to start getting your emotions involved. Put it that way. You do want success with this person. King of Pentacles is about success. You do want something secure and committed with them. You want something stable with them. And that's what you get with the King of Pentacles. You're afraid of getting hurt by this? You think they're secretive? Or you think they're, they, they tell lies? And maybe you caught them in a few lies before. You feel like you just need to have one foot in and one foot out? Um, for some of you, you're going to sabotage it and cause a tower moment. Cause it to just fall apart. Because you're afraid of getting hurt. But it looks like the outcome, because you realize that you do want success, instead of sabotaging this connection, some of you will decide to just make, just be busy. Yeah, you might pick up another job, or you might work overtime and start focusing on other things. Because the Two of Pentacles can be about juggling, doing this, doing that, being over there. Being over here, multitasking. So yeah, like I said, some of you will set will sabotage this and cause a huge tower moment. And then for others of you, you're realizing that you you need to try to keep this going and see if you can get success out of this and make it more stable. So you're just going to try to refocus your energy, not so much towards this connection. And just do other things. And try to see if you can get success out of the connection. By not being so focused on it. And maybe this person will come around eventually. And give you what you need to trust them. Or to make you feel like it's, it's a stable connection. So yeah, a lot of you are just going to. Do a lot of things. That's what the Two of Pentacles can be about. So, Cancer, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. Stay strong. Take good care. Let us thank God that things are worse than they could be. So yes, thank the Lord Jesus Christ that things aren't as bad as we all know that they could be. So, like I said, stay strong. Hang in there. Um, come back and join me for the next cancer reading just in case this reading did not resonate
Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get the readings from me, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person or, or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, like I said, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because, once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. And take care. And take care. And take care.